people welcome back to winning is winning <laughs> i'm super excited to have you guys here today i know i know i know right long time no recipe coming i'm excited to have you guys here today as always my name is Oluwa Damilola Bay. no color only <laughs> and i'm super excited to have you guys here today welcome and welcome and welcome yeah so today we are going to be having something so amazing for both your little ones and your household so is going to enjoy this amazing recipe of course here we're having yummy unripe plantain porridge oh my god this porridge eh, is oh you see see just let's cook together let's just cook together and let's just about this porridge eh because i cannot even talk about it but let's cook together and let's just about it together i'm saying it so first and foremost, we have the king of the show or the king of the star or anyone you want to call it. We have unripe plantain. Unripe plantain is rich in fiber as well as vitamin A and C as well as potassium and magnesium. Now we have our sweet corn. I already cooked it and brought out the canal out of... <laughs> Now, I love sweet corn because it's rich in essential vitamins that a little one need. It's rich in vitamin B. Then we have our green peas, we have our liver, and we have our bell peppers. Now we have our tomato mix. Because we're giving to our little ones, I didn't add much pepper. I didn't. I just added tomatoes, bell pepper, and onions, and garlic as well. So first and foremost, we are going to be adding our unripe plantain into our pot then after that we are going to be adding water all right planting doesn't take too much time to cook i kind of love thought i loved um sweet plantain that's the ripe plantain but when i tried this recipe oh my god i changed my mind even the whole house would change their mind <laughs> so yeah i added the pepper mix or tomato mix then of course palm oil I added the palm oil one thing i love about this recipe is the fact that it's balanced we have our carbs we have our protein we have a good fat and of course we have our micronutrients which are the minerals the vitamins and we have our bell peppers we have our green peas our veggies as well so just give this a good stir then you allow to simmer to like 10 minutes yeah or when it's a little bit soft it depends on how you want to cook it then this is after 10 minutes and voila is already getting so 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 soft and already looking so attractive <laughs> so so now i added salt because i'm my little one is above one year so it's able to take it but if your little one is less than one please you can want to skip the salt then i added um beef seasoning as well as crayfish I love crayfish. If you don't have crayfish, you can as well alternate it with cumin powder. I feel like they have similar um, flavors to that they add to food. But yeah, I love crayfish. Crayfish takes your dish, just make gives it that local vibe. Crayfish, if I want to have like a local vibe food, I always add crayfish and iru. Oh my god, just know that that food is a local one. It's already nice. <laughs> so I allowed it to steam, for, cover it up and allow it to steam for close to five minutes. Then after five minutes, yeah, we have our amazing plantain porridge coming up. So yummy. <laughs> Just give it a nice stir. So I'm just going to mash it. But if you're giving... Um, adults of an adult i want to take it there's no need to really mash it that much though but because it's for kids like babies toddlers and babies so you need to mash it a little and now i'm going to be adding a uh, cooked liver i already cooked this liver and i added no salt to it because i want the flavor of the porridge <laughs> then of course we're adding our sweet corn i love sweet corn oh my god it takes this meal from zero to hundred <laughs> everything takes this meal from zero to hundred don't mind me i'm just going to give this a nice stir Then, of course, I'm going to be adding the green peas and then I'm going to be adding the bell peppers. This is like the orange bell pepper. <laughs> Then 
Then I'm adding water just to allow it to steam for about two to three minutes. There you have it. So creamy, so yummy, and so amazing. My son and my little man and my big man rather enjoyed this recipe and they were like, I want more. <laughs> So this is so yummy and amazing. Trust me, your little one and the whole household is going to enjoy it. So this recipe is for your little one from 8 months of age because you can give your little one corn from 8 months. So yeah, from 8 months of age. And don't forget to peel it to the right consistency for your babies. And please don't forget to avoid or skip salt. But for your toddlers, yeah, but most toddlers don't really like it like this. They, liked it a little, they may like it a little bit puree or mashed. You can as well use a blender to mash it. And for you adults, yeah, you can enjoy it like this. Just look how yummy this looks. Trust me, everyone is going to enjoy this recipe. I hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I enjoyed dishing it out to you. Hot, 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 hot. If you did, please don't forget to put a thumbs up. Don't, put a, don't forget to put on your notification bell. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Don't like, forget to comment. All these actions makes it possible for YouTube to take our video to other moms to see this video as well. I want to say a big thank you for sticking around with me even when I was absent. <laughs> but I'm always on Instagram. Yeah, you can catch me on Instagram. Winning is winning. At, and you can catch us on our website, www.winningiswinning.com. And of course, we are happy to have you. So thank you so much, everyone. And remember, your little one needs all the nutrition it can get from real foods. Let's raise all the kids together with what? Winning is winning. I'll see you. And please stay safe. And peace out. Thank you.